What's up guys? I'm here going to do a quick install video just because I didn't see one on YouTube. Got the bullet point mount for your cell phone or your GoPro or both or three or four items. I actually saw this on a buddy of mine, Mike's truck, and talk about solid, it was super solid. So I decided to get myself one. I don't do unboxings because I think unboxings are stupid. Here's everything to come in the box. They basically give you all the pins, screws, nuts, bolts, even the drill bit, the little tool to take your dash piece out with, and a wrench. So they give you everything it takes to install it, even your screwdriver. They give you everything that, that it takes to install it, which in my opinion is perfect and I love that so you can install it on the fly right in the parking lot like we're gonna do so come along I'll take you for the ride and I'll show you this awesome piece of equipment pretty cool little awesome detail they put in there I know I'm not gonna see it and probably never will but I like the fact that they dropped their logo in it looks pretty awesome all right so first thing you gotta do is take this piece of rubber out then you need a seven millimeter socket which I already loosened this bolt it's the trickery of cameras. So take the seven millimeter bolt out and they give you a handy dandy tool so you don't mess up your dash to get under here and clip this out. Boy, it's in there good. And then we'll take this over to the bench and we'll drill out our six holes and mount our place our plate back in here and then we'll put it right back in. So let's go get it done. All right guys, so as you can see, this piece is meant to fit right down in there. So I'm gonna use supplied box and their drill bit that they send you and drill these holes out and then use the push pins to go right in. Simple. Simple as that. And they give you these automotive style push pins that people use everywhere. They're holding half your vehicle together, so if you guys are worried about that, half your car is held together with that. I like the fact they gave you a couple extra just in case you make a mistake. But that's as simple as it is for the install there. And then basically all we have to do is screw the lid right back onto place. And I'm not gonna do that till I mount at the vehicle and see exactly where I want the phone and the GoPro mount to mount. So I'll put it in there, test fit it, mark my holes, and then I'll know where I'm gonna mount everything. Well, that was actually a pretty simple install. I'm not gonna push this all the way back in right now because what I'm after is trying to figure out before I mount this in there permanently. One, I don't like that I'll be able to see that hole. So I'll probably trim that rubber piece to fit where I want it to fit and put it back in there. Right now, I kinda wanna see where my phone is gonna end up and mark my holes where I wanna put my phone before I put all this back together. That way I can mount this thing permanently. And I'll go back inside and I'll actually mount this foam piece on here. And then I'm going to trim this the best I can on this line and put this back on here to cover up that hole. Then we'll mount everything back in there permanently. Stick with me. Simple as that. Now my phone mount is in the place where I marked it and I wanted it. It's actually off the side just a touch because the, the holes didn't line up a little bit, but I think we're gonna be perfect. And now I gotta find my GoPro mount and I'll put my GoPro mount on here and then we'll put it back in the truck. So what I'm doing here is putting a GoPro mount on this side, just uh, thinking about doing a little vlogging when I'm traveling, maybe a little videoing. But the other thing is good for, especially when I'm traveling is, it's the same mount that holds the phone on with just a different top piece. So I'm gonna get me a second top piece 
And that way, if my wife's traveling with me, she could actually mount her cell phone up on top of this thing too and let it sit there and charge or whatever. Because they're exact same mounts. The only thing different is the arm that goes on top. Here's the GoPro arm, which holds the GoPro with this mount. And then there's this arm. So if I buy another arm, basically you could have two phone mounts on your dash. Not that you ever would need that, but some of you guys actually run two phones because you have a personal phone and a work phone, or you have a burner phone so your wife don't catch you. We know who you are. So <laughs> you could actually run two phones in your truck if you wanted to do so, or a phone and a GoPro, or you know, whatever else you want to mount, different kinds of cameras they make mounts for, CBs, whatever. That's what I like is you could basically arrange as many mounts on here as you actually wanted to. I don't know why you would need more than two, but I've seen guys run three or four, especially when they're doing off-road rigs where they have a CB, they have their phone, they have a camera, whatever else they got going on. So pretty cool system. All right. The thing that you can't really tell on their website or I didn't notice and is not clear in any videos because I didn't see a lot of install videos is the thing I like about this is these balls have grooves on them. They're machined. I don't know if that's steel or aluminum. I would think it's probably aluminum, but it's machined and it has a groove all the way across it if you can see that. What that does is it helps that mount grip on tighter. So you're, you're running this plastic and you're screwing it down tight onto this machined ball here. I think that's gonna really help it hold tight. I'm not gonna put this one on until we're in the truck and we got this completely solid mounted. The GoPro one don't weigh anything, so I don't think it's gonna be in my way when I'm mounting stuff, so I'll just let it sit however it wants to sit here. There, I'm cutting that basically. Got it dirty, just to hide that bolt. I'll come back and I'll clean this up a little bit. And then we'll put it back in there and that'll help hide that last bolt that's up there and just make the install look a little more cleaner. So now we just gotta go back and pre-fit the lid on here, it's pretty simple. There you have it. It's a pretty simple install, pretty clean. Most of these guys are using these, and I, I'm going to say this so they can hear me. Most of these guys are using them for trucks and off-road. My truck is more of a sport truck, so I, I do a little more performance-style driving. So if they would start making these for performance cars, that would be pretty slick. And then you can see I cut this piece of rubber that originally fit in here. <laughs> And here's the hole where the screw goes back in. So I cut this piece just to go back in and cover that up and finish the install so it looks nice and clean in here. And you'll never be able to tell. So let's take it back out and get her finished up, put back in the truck. Pretty simple install, as you guys can tell. It only took me about 10 minutes. Put it back in there. We got the one bolt that goes back and holds it into place. That was the seven millimeter. The one thing they didn't give you to do, I can't blame them, they're not gonna send you a socket. Torque it down. Put my trim piece back in. Looks nice and clean. Well, there you have it. That's a completed install. Only one thing missing. Holds it solid, tight. 
no flex, no bouncing around. Super solid. Love it. My phone's in a perfect position for me to touch. It's not blocking my view of anything, which is what I was looking for. A lot of guys put stuff everywhere. I can still see all my navigation, my radio, my controls, and my phone. It's perfect eye level for me. Bullet point, good job. They even threw in a bottle opener. I'll keep that up there for safekeeping. Nice product. I appreciate you. Took me all of about 10 minutes. It's a good solid install. It's a nice product. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and follow the old man. It's been a minute since I've done any videos on my truck, but there's one thing I still want to do to this truck and I haven't done yet, and that's a supercharger. So stay tuned because I'm hunting now. It's going to happen.